I never answered a no, man, I still go, go, go. Hey, it's Ali from ahan.co.uk again, and I'm making a video about a new IPTV app made by the same person that made PVR Live. Shout out to Linus, thank you very much for making this app. So it's beautiful in the sense that it's just like PVR Live, but without the need to have the live channels app. So we have a new app called Sparkle, with essentially its own video player and own uh, TV guide built in. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Great way, the layout is very similar to PVR Live. Even the TV guide looks very similar, but it's got its own kind of style. And it looks really nice, if you ask me. And it performs just as well as PVR Live does. So the TV guide is nice and fast. You can see the images of the um, shows that you want to watch or plan to watch. You've got a nice little a shimmer effect on the TV guide. The beauty of it is you can record TV shows just like you can with PVR Live. So here I'm recording a, a series called 77%. Let's take a look at the video controls. So for live TV you can pause and record straight away. Um, you can even go back if you've enabled the buffer. Also if you're in the TV guide if you move left you can see the categories that are made in your playlist and you can filter through your playlist to quickly find what you want to watch. You can add favorite live TV channels and multiple playlists. So you can switch between multiple playlists if you got them. That's only available on the plus subscription. Long press and add to favorites. You can even edit the channel if you want to rename it. Down here, you can view all your scheduled recordings and the recordings that you've already made. Play them back from here, or you can delete them if you no longer need them. If there's a schedule that you no longer need, you can just click on it, delete that schedule. Playback controls are really easy to use, so let's take a look, watch something here. And uh, if you wanted to pause something, you can quickly do that, or forward or rewind. And you can even use the seek bar down at the bottom to quickly move through the content you're watching. The great thing about this is you have something called multi-view. You have four streams playing at the same time. So I'm just quickly choosing a channel that I want to put onto the screen. And I can have them all playing at the same time. This is great for sports, for people who like to get loads of different angles of news. You can quickly switch audio from one to the other. To the sport. 12, 12 months, months season. season. Nice and easy. Now the VOD functionality in this app is amazing. It looks really good. Really love the material design and the layout. It looks just like it's supposed to on Android TV. This is only demo data. It's not real content. Uh, click on something you can then add a show to your favorites and you can flick through different seasons different episodes of seasons and get to the episode that you want now if you play something we're just going to watch this like i said it's demo data Go back and the coolest feature is that you can resume where you left off. Let's take a look at the settings in the app and see what kind of controls you have. So you can have multiple sources if you purchase the plus subscription. And you can edit how many seconds you want to skip and rewind. You can also change how the app looks. So at the minute you've got transparency of the menu layout. So you can change that to off. And that little shimmer effect, you can turn it off if you don't want it. And you can change the amount of uh, recent channels that you can see in the main menu. DVR settings, you can change the location of your recording. So you can even add a network share if you want to. This is really handy if you're running out of space on your Android TV. And you can enable time shifts so you can go back in time when you're watching live TV. Since the app is not available in the Fire TV store, Linus has made it so you can share your subscription, your plus subscription, 
with a non Google Play Store device. So that means you can create a SharePlus account. You go in here and you set a username and password. You can then log into that account on your Fire TV. No need for the app to be installed from the Amazon store. You can just sideload it, log in, and you can enjoy Plus Package. This is a great solution to not being able to provide the app on the, the Fire TV store. You can share this to free devices in total. Really generous of Linus. And if you really love this app and you feel like you want to contribute more to the development of this app, go ahead and do so within the app on Android TV. Sparkle takes advantage of the Android TV integration. And if you've got a Shield or another similar device, you can have your recent live channels that you've played displayed on the home screen. You can quickly jump to it straight from the home screen. It saves a lot of time. And it's the same for your recordings. If you've got a recording, jump straight into your recordings from the home screen. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.